Mr. Gordon, do you realize why this meeting has been called between you, Human Resources, our General Counsel, and your superior? Because I made Clark cry. You made Clark cry. You created a hostile work environment which puts our company in jeopardy of a lawsuit. <laughs> Young adults today are a very delicate group. We offer an entire class on how to deal with them. Oh, is the class called I was born in the 90s, wah? Look, we're both getting up there in years. <laughs> it's frustrating. Sometimes I want to beat them senseless with their selfie sticks. <clears throat> but they're the only reason any of us are still employed right now, so get used to it. <laughs> Jolly good. <laughs> Human resources and a lawyer on your second day. Save something for the Christmas party. Roland, I feel terrible saying this, but I can't do this. Huh? Do you remember the story behind this severed rope? No. No, neither do I. <laughs> Still, I'm sure you can work with those kids. I tried. I'm sorry. Shame. It would have been good for you. Twilight and the evening bell, and after that, the dark. And may there be no sadness of farewell when I embark. That line called for a dramatic exit, but it is my office, so get out. Oh, so that's it? You're just gonna leave for good? Oh, I'm sorry, do you need me to submit an official resignation tweet? Yes, I'm leaving, for good. Jack, my dad needs you here. No, he needs you. You can do everything. You're smart, you're beautiful, you say schedule. Okay, well, where are you gonna go? You can't keep doing this lone wolf thing forever. Why not? That's what lone wolves do. That's what I've always done. Look at me posing with all my friends. <laughs> change and I'm fine with that oh really well that's not what you told me that night at the retreat yeah well we said a lot of things that night we didn't mean like this is my last mojito I'm gonna go back to my room don't use that that's been in your wallet for years <laughs> and I'll call you yeah, I did call you yes it was a few days later but by then you were already running away I can't exist in this world and I can't get through to those kids <laughs> you were once that kid to my dad and he got through to you but now he just needs you to prove that the outside world is more than something on a screen. Oh, Brooke, I never thought about it that way. You mean, I could forge a lasting, meaningful relationship with the younger generation? And who knows, even though I'm the teacher, maybe I could end up blah, blah, blah. What's wrong? How was work? Awful. I hurt a millennial's feelings. When are their feelings not hurt? Hey. <laughs> See? Nachos on the house. Clay? Clark? Oh. <laughs> well, what are you doing? I heard you might be leaving, and it was all my fault for crying, so I just wanted to say I do not deserve to walk in your shoes. This is totally unnecessary, and you should have brought a second pair of shoes. <laughs> Look, Jack, you were right about what you said before, that I, I don't know why I have a podcast. I have nothing important to say, but you do, and you inspire people. We need that around the office. I know I talk a big game, but I sort of don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Look, I posted one of your old Galapagos stories like two hours ago, and it has 200,000 views so far. Whoa, 200,000? <laughs> it's pretty weak. Slow your roll, bro. But, but it was just getting started, and it triggered a crowdfunding campaign to help save the turtles. Take a look. That's a penis. Damn it, Mason. Look, I get it. You care. Thank you. And I don't want to disappoint Roland either. No, no, no. Roland's going to be fine. It was Brooke's idea to bring you back from the field. But... It was Brooke's idea? Yeah, she's the one who convinced him to call you in. Thank you for telling me that. And look, these incredibly sweaty things are yours, and you should wear them. Hey, I got an opening tomorrow for my podcast. Don't if you wanted to... push it. Okay. <laughs>